Hey guys, mowers and blowers here again. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. So uh, today's Friday and um, I decided I'm going to uh, work on my yard bug, the Craftsman yard bug I got from the uh, Motherload 3 pick. So, uh, you know, as you guys know, I did get the starter working, no problem. And uh, it runs and stuff and cuts and all that stuff, but it uh, runs a little rich. I mean, sometimes it kind of, you know, stutters and hesitates and stuff. And then uh, white smoke starts billowing out for a bit until it catches again and then starts going. So I'm thinking it's carburetor just needs to be cleaned because it is kind of a mess, you know. Uh, I've already uh, removed the uh, top cowling engine cover and this air filter, which I don't think is stock. Does that look stock to you? It looks like one of those K&N things, you know? Uh, so that just goes on to there. Um, it didn't come with this uh, steering wheel um, column cover. It was just bare. So I removed the steering wheel and I uh, took an old uh, leaf blower tube and fabricated it just to at least cover up most of the column. It's uh, obviously a Toro. It looks okay. Not great, but, you know better than nothing um, so now I'm just going to remove the two screws over there um, that removes the uh, hose bracket to the air cleaner and uh, try to remove that carburetor without breaking anything so I just remove the screws and this part just comes off kinda yucky um, here's the uh, breather tube that you disconnect from this part right there. I'll uh, just let it hang there. And then it looks like it's uh, two more screws that you just have to loosen and the carburetor should come off. Just remove the linkages here. And I took a picture of it so I know exactly where it goes. So uh, the linkage is there. Here's the carb. Really dirty, huh? And uh, hardly any fuel in there so it just took the fuel line off of that area right there and uh, it's just hanging nothing's coming out so it's good I'm gonna remove this uh, some oil uh, fuel that came out there remove, remove this bowl nut after I uh, bristle brush all this crap on the outside because once you open it up you don't want anything to contaminate the inside so I cleaned out the outside with that bristle brush a lot of crap on it I uh, just took the bowl uh, off and inside is you know pretty rusty and it was running pretty well I mean it wasn't running well but it was running you know and uh, just took the bowl nut off and it's the kind that doesn't have a hole in it I'm gonna take that float off now no you can't tell from there but the uh, needle is has varnish on it See that uh, light hue green stuff on the ends? A little bit of varnish there. Dried ethanol. And if you look at the shaft of the carburetor, it has a, a green hue to it. So that is going to contribute to it. Um, I'm going to take that jet out right here in the middle. In the middle of that hole in there. And uh, clean out the holes. So I'm now officially screwed. Um, that jet bolt won't come out and so um, I've actually stripped it because uh, I tried using a regular you know uh, carburetor screwdriver but it just wasn't strong enough so then I used a power driver to get that out and yep it stripped I figured if it went fast it would just loosen it up I even sprayed some PB blaster in there but uh, either I get a new carburetor now or I drill that out and I still got to get a jet anyway so I think it's probably I have to go see how much this thing is whether or not it's worth it or just try to drill that out and get another jet sucks so it's a week later and uh, I decided to get a new carburetor um, surprisingly it was only sixteen dollars or so sixteen or seventeen dollars eBay and uh, it's a Chinese copy. It's not, you know, OEM uh, rigs. So we'll see how it goes. But um, looks good. Um, I put the linkage back on. It also came with two new air, uh, fuel filters. So I put those on. Looks nice. 
And uh, I haven't put the cowling on because I haven't tried it yet, but uh, let's uh, give it a whirl. Chinese carburetor, $16. Whatever, if it works, who cares? What? back on. Now I've got this uh, back cover I gotta put on too. Alright, the yard bug is complete. Uh, I'm gonna go mow my backyard. Still have some leaves, remnants. There it is. Complete yard bug. Awesome. Always wanted one of these. Pretty good shape. pick and repair. 50 bucks plus a $16 carburetor. I've got a yard bug now. I might keep it. I like it a lot. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.